Oh man, look at this thing. Okay, we just built this yesterday. It's a lot. Um, all right. So I think at this point, we uh, the, the big thing we have to do right now is start getting stuff into here. So let's see what that's gonna look like. Actually, we're gonna use this. What is this thing? Okay, so we'll go ahead and explain what this thing is. Um, oh, first of all, hold on, let's, can I, can I put this in? Let's see if I can actually put this in. Big frame pillar. We got, we got to put some legs on this behemoth chat. Or it's just going to fall. It's going to be terrible. So what this giant behemoth thing is, is this is a rocket fuel complex. And what we're going to be able to do with this is this is going to supply all of the water that we need down here to our thing. Actually, you know what? Let's do this. Let's, let's start at the top. Let's start at the top. All right, we'll start, at, we'll start at the top here. Since when does rocket fuel need water? Well, we'll explain everything. There you go. Okay, so first thing that happens, and we're just about to do this actually, is uh, we're gonna go find a 600 oil input. And that is around here somewhere. And we're gonna pump that 600 oil into this row of 20 refineries. Now, these refineries are processing heavy oil residue, which is going to make a bajillion heavy oil and a bajillion polymer resin. For now, the polymer resin will be sorted off and turned into other things. Don't worry about that later. We're just going to sink it for now, but that's going to be one byproduct. But the heavy oil, the important stuff, flows down in groups of eight. Actually, it's in, yeah, it's in groups of eight into these blenders. These blenders take the rocket fuel and the water, which you see being pumped down there, and they turn it into fuel at a very good rate. Diluted fuel, actually. So the only thing that's being made on this floor right here, the only thing being made is fuel. That's it. So the fuel from all of these gets pumped down to here. <laughs> and this is where it gets a little bit more complicated. So what we do here is this is where we take the fuel that we pumped up top, nitrogen gas, sulfur, and coal, and that makes us rocket fuel. Now, that's pretty cool. Now, and once we have all of these running full, this is gonna be producing a lot of rocket fuel. In fact, it's gonna be producing about 2,400 rocket fuel per minute. And what that's gonna do is let us run 528 power plants at full non-overclocked volume. So that's an option we have. Yep. <clears throat> so that's what we're doing right now. We're basically making a giant rocket fuel production facility and then we're gonna extend it out over to here and basically build this gigantic abyss spanning circuit board of power plants as we need them. Yeah. And then this will supply us enough power to, well, take us to the end of the game, obviously, potentially. Um, but we could also use this as a staging point for a drone network, which I wanna do. And the drone network is something I wanna do to potentially conquer nuclear power if I decide to try to do that. So, yeah, that's kinda how we're looking. That's kind of how we're looking. I need a pure oil node. There we go. Actually, I don't even, is 600? I don't even need, is 600 from pure? I don't even know. Let's go over here. Mm -hmm. uh, let's bring you up maybe. Oh God, there we go. Okay. 
Are you trying to produce 50x the amount of fuel you need? Um, so, the, funny enough, like, I know this seems kind of crazy. Uh, well, to be fair, it is kind of crazy. But the reason I did this was I basically just wanted to say, like, how can I maximize a single oil thing? Which is what this is all going to run off. Just one oil thing. And all I did, actually, all this is, this is just a bunch of blueprints. Like, we, we actually didn't spend that long working on this yesterday. So it may seem, like, pretty complex and time-consuming, but we built the whole thing in, like, an hour. And most of it was doing the piping on the sides. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh. We already got that one. And I was even diligent and marked it off. Didn't even bother checking. Pasco is pretty mad at current day, Co. Okay, where is this thing? Is it down here? There it is. Ow. Hey, look, I healed myself before I died. I'm full health. <laughs> oh, look at that. Didn't quite work as planned, unfortunately. Almost. Bloop. Nice. Lord. Why don't you use the alt recipe with coal instead of water? Then you don't need to worry about it. Um, primarily because I'm already bringing in a huge amount of uh, of other things. I don't necessarily want to bring in a lot more. But I mean, we could do that. That's another way to do it. But the water's fine. Yeah, we, we have plenty of water where we are. So whole thing whole thing works out okay. Oh shoot! I definitely thought I was gonna make it. I definitely thought we were going to make it there. I guess not. Whoops. We'll just go the long way. I see you. He did. I see you. He did. Mm -hmm. Namaste, geek. Love it. Hey, Ben, by the way. Are you going to make a middle of the map launch site eventually? Uh, you mean like a centralized location we could launch everywhere from? Probably not. No, I kind of like our little uh, our little circuit that we got set up now. And we can pretty much go wherever we want from the middle one. So I don't really think we need it. So this one here, these are all like these are not not all. Any of these are main ones. The only main one is the one over here. Schwink. Uh, Hearn Seer, we did like multiple days ago. <laughs> Have you not been at your computer for a while? What's the inhaler thing? It's a full heal. I actually have one at my base that goes the other direction, but I want to see if we can get there from here. I think we might be able to. Uh... Maybe? Dude, awesome. Hell yeah. The map's so pretty? Yes. Yes, it is. Map do be gorgeous, though.
Okay. Sorry. Skadoosh. Is everyone maps the same? Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Damn, this thing didn't get constructed on the world grid. That's weird. I totally thought we placed the first foundation on the world grid. Hmm. Well, that sucks. Okay. We'll make it work. That sucks, though. Boop. Thankfully, nothing on this has to be on the world grid, so it's okay. Because we're going to have drones from here. So it, it doesn't actually matter too much. Of all the places that aren't going to be on the world grid, this is, like, one where it's okay. <laughs> so I, I think that's actually all right. No? Invalid placement. Oh, because of this thing? Why does the world grid matter at all? It doesn't at all. Yeah. Not really. It's it's just for uh for, for making things connect properly. The world grid matters if you're trying to connect things properly. So for instance, if I wanted my area here to perfectly sync with a train that I, if I wanted to put a train track from here, this base to this base, and I wanted that train track to perfectly connect on both sides, that's when I'd use a world grid. World grids are great when you want two far away areas to be able to connect perfectly in some way, be it foundations or a train track or something. If you're not doing that, or it's not a concern of yours, then it doesn't really matter at all. That's pretty much how that goes. Yep. And from the looks of it, we're actually, weirdly enough, on like a perfect half. Huh. Yeah, we're like one half block off. Which is a little weird. <laughs> we could fake it, chat, and no one would ever know but me and you. 
<laughs> what do you mean it's not world gridded? It's perfect. Mm. And actually, you know what? I just thought of something. I wonder if we're off by half exactly because that top blueprint is off by half. Remember because we had to use a two and a half and two and a half for the, for the top? Yeah, I wonder if that's why it's off. Interesting. Well, there you go. Well, regardless, it's not even off because we can fix it easily. So we're good. We are good. The goodness is good, chat. The goodness is good. Okay, this is the flat, right? Right there. I'll put you there. Now we need to decide exactly how we want to do this because I'm not exactly sure how we want to do this. So we're going to have to see how we want to do this. One second. Why do I have a missed call from my wife? Um, there we go. Okay. Are we still working on the first factory? No. No. No, we are on a, a far different factory at this point. Can I not pipeline support off the wall? Oh, wait. No, I can't. But I can put one. Oh, 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 is it that? It's that. Okay, I need a wall support. How do I lift it off the wall? It, can, can I make it further off? Well, you know what? Actually, we can just go through it. That's fine. It's fine. We can do it like that. Um, where's my sulfur and... In... Yeah, yeah, we can loop it to the other side. Okay, that's fine. goes. Oh, man. Oh, man. It's happening. Gonna take a bit for it to get back there. All this has to fill up. And we're also going to have to, um, we have to underclock uh, more than a couple of these, too.
Wait, what? Yeah, I think I built on the wrong one by accident. Whoops. That's okay. That's what we want. So, yep. better great so we'll save this for later we'll we'll probably come back and use that for something else some maybe even more oil for plastic or we could we could do all sorts of stuff out here with it but let's see what that is later Wire's too long. What was it connecting to? Okay, you know what? Fine. Fine. There. 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 Okay. That thing is now pumping a whole bunch of oil exactly where it needs to go. Great. So we're not even going to worry about getting this stuff set up until everything that needs to be is coming in here. Oh man, it's already producing fuel. Wait, what? Oh yeah, I guess that makes sense because, yep, 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 all this is producing. Because we already got the water hooked up. It's going to back these up to hell, but they're already backed up to hell. Okay. Wait a second. What? What did you just do? I just finished building 90 refineries for 2700 oil, next is 18 blenders to dilute into 1800 fuel and then use all that to turn my 900 rubber, plastic into 1.8 kaa, and then dilute another 900 fuel, turn it into rocket fuel, and build 200 fuel generators. Cool, sounds fun. Alright. That's the that's way you can do it too. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Mm -mm. How are we going to deal with the... Uh, what are we going to do with the excess petroleum? Or the, the excess resin? I think for now we're going to sink it. But I think the plan is we're going to drone it back to our base and do stuff with it there. I think we're going to have a, a rubber and plastic... Or a, we're going to have a resin processing facility at our main base. And I'm not sure what we're going to do with it yet. But whatever it is, it's going to be awesome. Okay, so... Let's make sure this is working as it should. So the 600 oil is coming into these. These are all producing at 40 per minute, and each one has eight. So it's producing at... Let's see. Um, 320 per minute. And 320 per minute is feeding into four times only 200. Is that right? That doesn't seem right. It seems way too much. Hold on. Output's 40. Oh, no. I was looking at the inputs. Whoops. The input is 50. 50 times 4. 400. 200. So... No, no, no. I'm thinking about that right. So we have, we have way, 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 way more going in here. How's bubbles, by the way? Still good, actually. Not surprisingly. Um... So if we just turned off two of these refineries, 
in each row. Let's see, that, that math doesn't seem to work right, though. Hmm. Because, yeah, we want to match these on a one-to-one. -one. Can we underclock it? Yeah. We could. So right now, the way that it has it done is there's there's eight refineries feeding down to four of the blenders. They're producing 320. They only need 200. So I guess we could underclock one and turn... We could, we could underclock one and turn two of them off. Right? Because you don't necessarily want to overclock these. Because that, that'll just make a whole bunch more fuel that we have no nothing to do with. Because all of these take fuel on a one-to-one. -one. So every one of these takes the output of those on a one-to-one. -one. So we want to match those outputs. Yeah, we only need five refineries to each. But we have banks. We have banks of eight. So I could, I could just turn off three of them. That is 100% an option. We can just do that for now. We can do that in each row. And that may be the best option for now. We could also put every one of them at an underclock, which may be beneficial. Tencent is looking to buy Ubisoft. No surprise there. Ubisoft is in a terrible spot. Yep. Okay. What's also really nice about this is... We could, we could, we're going to have six refineries up here on each side that we can do more with later if we want to. We don't have to, but they're going to be here piped in and ready. So we're going to have like, this is going to give us options, which is nice. This is going to give us options. Uh, okay, let's do the other stuff we need to do here. Start working on getting that in. Uh, how much nitrous do we need? Each one needs 75 per minute. How are we splitting that? Um, oh, two 600 pipes. Okay. That's easy enough. Easy peasy. Why is Ubisoft in a bad place? Because they haven't been making good games for a long time. Is the short of it. 